Another attempt by Senate Republicans to repeal the Affordable Care Act appears to be doomed. Late this afternoon, I talked with Senator Tammy Baldwin right after we got word that the Senate will not be taking up a vote this week on the Republican plan. And I find this to be um, really important and, and good news for Wisconsinites who have been expressing themselves um, with great concern about the negative impacts of that legislation, particularly on people with pre-existing health conditions. Senate Democrats don't have the votes to stop Republican efforts to repeal and replace President Obama's signature health care legislation. But Republicans are also struggling to secure enough votes to overhaul it. Republicans need 51 votes in the Senate to pass what is being called the Graham-Cassidy bill. It transforms most of the Obamacare federal spending back to states like Wisconsin to run their own health care programs with fewer constraints. Three Republicans have said no, meaning it appears doomed. This is a debate about who has the power. Is it you, the patient, or is it the federal government? The narrative on the other side is that you don't have the capability to care for yourself, that your governor is corrupt, scheming to take away your protections if you have a pre-existing condition. And they think the federal government taking control of your life is a better way to go. Senator Baldwin says the Affordable Care Act helped 20 million Americans gain health insurance, including safeguards for people with pre-existing conditions. All of these repeal efforts, that, uh, including this last one that um, devolved uh, the, the control uh, to the state level, peeled away these safeguards or created the opportunity for them to be eroded. Um, in my mind, that's a step backwards. But Senator Ron Johnson talked on the Senate floor about a Wisconsin couple with a pre-existing medical condition that could not afford the coverage under the Affordable Care Act. Johnson believes states can do a better job with health care than the federal government. They make too much to be subsidized under Obamacare. They don't make enough to be able to afford the premium of $14,000 per year with a $12,500 deductible. I have always believed that we can do some really creative things with federal state partnerships. Um, I, I think that uh, some of the things Wisconsin has done, including things like senior care, um, have been really creative and, um, and really uh, helpful. So what's next? Democrats, like Baldwin, believe single payer needs to be on the table down the road. I have been supporting efforts to allow people to buy into Medica Medicare at 55. There's a new bill being developed that I'm involved in that will allow people to look at buying into Medicaid. And yes, we have uh, Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All, which I um, also support because I want to have all the good ideas on the table. Republicans say single payer is a non-starter. Now, last week we talked one-on-one -on -one with Senator Johnson about the Republican plan. You can see that and all of our health care coverage on our website, tmj4.com. Shannon.